Hello, this is gonna be any vlog. Um, I don't know, I've been just sitting here not doing much at all because I feel really tired and really exhausted and I think a part of that is because I've spent the last week or so constantly being surrounded with people and I don't know, I've just been imagining going on a little trip maybe a solo trip or maybe with someone else because I am really scared to go somewhere like completely alone I just wanna be somewhere in nature maybe on a camping place or something I had this trip in my head for so long that I like drive somewhere maybe in France maybe here in Germany and I'm just there it's quiet there are trees it's nature there with my journal I have maybe hammock I have my yoga mat with me but I'm also like realizing more and more that it's okay for my body to need rest and I am allowed to rest and I don't know, there are just so many things that I actively have to tell myself because I never learned them really in like childhood age or something so I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of in a transformation phase but also in a total like stagnant phase like I don't feel like much is changing but in that stagnation is like so much happening I feel like why do I look good right now? thing is I literally have no idea if any of these like voice changes are real or if they're just maybe not real you know I've been making this kind of salad yesterday and today and I just really really love it why am I talking about salad? but it's actually really good and also my crocs arrived here they are I love my crocs so much I never had real crocs and they're also platform crocs and I'm just like this is how they look. I don't know how I even am alive. But look at my Crocs. I just want to go somewhere for a walk. Meet someone. And then they'd be like, oof, you're so hot. But only because I wear these shoes. A little bit of an update. My strawberries have been growing. Here we have the lettuce. Here, this is a zucchini. This is how it looks. It looks pretty. And then here we have the pumpkin. Look at this! There's a tiny pumpkin! We have this kiwi here. It looks pretty nice. The male and female kiwi plants. It's two plants because they need to like do their thing to grow a kiwi actually. So. so it is a little bit messy as well. I don't know, there's a lot of... I think it's zucchini. No, it is actually... This is cucumber. Yeah. Um, here's a lot of cucumber. Here is a strawberry hidden somewhere. Look how tiny. I never saw it like this. Also, I think when they invented the telephones and stuff, I think they got inspired by this. This is nature. Here we have tomato. Tomato, 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 tomato. I don't want to have top surgery so bad right now. Like, look at this. This could be me. My hair is really greasy and I've been just laying in bed. I don't know, feeling kind of sad. And I just know that it's cancer season, so I'm not worried why I feel sad, but like, hello? Also, I feel like my voice is deeper today. But maybe that's just me. I'm drinking water now. And maybe I'm gonna go to a plant store tomorrow that sells like really nice plants. I'm gonna record myself talking to this app that is called voice pitch analyzer. Here, voice pitch analyzer. I never, I never had my voice this deep. <laughs> um, so this is today. It's literally in the middle and I think it's gonna like depend on the day and stuff like that. Like that <laughs> with the voice drops and stuff that there are gonna be days where my voice is higher and lower I think I don't know but today is a lower voice day and it feels so fucking nice I just wanted to 
to show you my green ass outfit. I have my green hair, my green glasses, green, my green t-shirt, my green boxers, and my green crocs. And pills are green. I love it here. I just wanted to talk a little bit because I just went showering and partially I felt so gender euphoric about, I don't know, the upcoming changes with tea and realizing again that I am on tea for a month now, which is just so wild to me because I, I don't know, I was always like all these years back. I don't know, I watch all these videos about transition and stuff and admired that I was like I low-key wanna do that myself and just like at this point where I notice my dysphoria more I think that has to do with that I'm taking tea and that I'm now like consciously in a process of transitioning then because of that I also can't really dissociate that much I just imagine myself with a flat chest and it just gives me so much joy and it, I don't know it just feels like freedom to me also I keep having like huge hot flashes like suddenly out of the nowhere I feel just so warm and I just want to rip off all my clothes and everything good morning I'm gonna to go to the plant store today which is like one hour and 40 minutes away from where I live but I'm really excited because I literally wanted to go there for a few months now and I wanted to show you my greenhouse cabinet before I add new plants to it I love it We are making a little break. I think we still have, I don't know, half an hour or something to drive. And I wanted to show you, I don't know how they're called, but it's Trans Pride Flag. This is the Anthurium Regal. Regal, I don't know. This is how big they are. I think I'm gonna get like a smaller one so I can save money. <laughs> I wanted to buy two, but then we kind of escalated. I think I'm gonna start with a birthday present plant. It's the Philodendron Gloriosum. This is the oldest leaf, then the newest leaf looks like this. And there's already a new leaf coming up there. Then the next plant was also a wishlist plant for me. I bought a really small kind of seedling plant and I'm talking about the Anthurium Regal. I hope that it's gonna survive this. But I like a small one and then I can make it big myself, I hope so. I don't know, I just saw it and I was like, it's pretty. And it's the Philodendron Plumani Citrus. And then I spontaneously also saw this plant and it was seedling from the Anthurium Magnificum. It looks just really pretty. Then I found this Anthurium Crystallinum <laughs> and I couldn't say no. I just wanted to show you how the greenhouse looks like right now. Here are the new plants. And then here I have the Gloriosum. I'm obsessed and I love just staring at it. <laughs> it is Tuesday today and I think I'm gonna journal a little bit. I was listening to a podcast where they talked about their values in a relationship and in general. And I think it's a good idea for me to do that as well, to just reflect a little bit because I noticed that this cancer season I feel a lot of queer longing and at the same time I'm also kind of lonely and overthinking a lot and I'm sad and 
I mean, I'm glad that I feel so many different types of emotions. Yeah, so I'm gonna reflect on my values and, I don't know, maybe also reflect on the fear that I have. Also, I'm just staring at my Gloriosum that I have there. Also, I don't know if it's like the best spot for it because it's only getting like no facing light. <laughs> finished journaling i wrote down a few values of mine for a relationship in any kind and also a relationship with myself kind of the first point is communication i know i hate when people say like yeah communication is key whatever but it's kind of true i do value that a lot because it can really calm my anxiety down then trust to just i don't know also calm the anxiety down and like comfort I'm a cancer bitch. I'm a cancer bitch. I need my comfort. I can easily feel really trapped and so I value independency. And then I also value alone time because I need a lot of alone time to recharge. The last but not least is quality time. Before I do yoga I'm just gonna um, read here the things that I wrote down that are all the changes that I noticed since I'm on tea. Ones that I feel the most often <laughs> are hot flashes. I'm also more hungry and I feel like I can eat more. Then bottom growth. I have experienced bottom growth. I don't know, I think in the first week but um, with the bottom growth also comes this like really itchiness because it's growing there sometimes i also feel like an itchy throat my voice is like a tiny tiny bit deeper just have a more wider range of voice things that i can say i don't know i noticed that my voice could go lower than it could before where i had a voice crack in while i'm speaking but that only happened like once or twice so far i don't know sometimes i'm like do i have more hair here where i put the tea gel on i don't know maybe i'm just looking for it so i don't know if that's really a change that has happened already my skin feels thicker like physically i have more energy but still like the sensory overload and everything that i have is not gonna change now i'm gonna do yoga i have the rose quartz here and I don't know, it feels good. I need it right now. And I also just journaled. I don't know, I had a realization. I had a few realizations. I don't know, because I struggled with allowing myself to feel things because I have been hurt in the past. And so my brain is like, okay, that means if you prevent yourself from feeling things, then you can't get hurt. And so I didn't allow myself to feel good emotions. Now I'm at a point where I feel like I allowed myself more freedom to feel emotions in any kind of form and I don't know now I'm just sitting here and I have so much more knowledge or I don't know I'm just more aware of how I'm feeling and I'm just really glad that I allowed myself to feel and also to get vulnerable and with that also risk of being hurt. I don't know, I always, when I'm journaling, at some point I start writing down these planned metaphors about life and emotional things and everything. Then I wrote some affirmations here, like, I allow myself to feel, I'm loved, my feelings are valid, I'm growing, I'm learning, I can handle this, I am in control, I am powerful, I'm strong, I can do this, I comfort myself, I give myself space to breathe. I am allowed to feel. That is a huge thing for me to be sitting here right now and writing these things down because I don't know, maybe a whole year or a few months for sure just passed by and I was so in this trying not to feel too much or trying not to make myself vulnerable because I didn't want to get hurt because I thought when I get hurt now it's gonna feel the same as it did once like three years ago. I'm just so happy that I, uh, I have grown since then and I've learned a lot of things since then and I don't know. 